take care of a person who has just come in from a snowmobile accident with broken bones and your job is to stabilize them as best as you can to get them out on the next plane so they can actually get the service they need. So it's, it's a different skill set. It's a different when somebody comes and says, it hurts here in my belly. That's, I've worked in ICU, I've worked in an acute care, I would call the doctor. And there is no doctor to call, it's you. So you need to figure and understand your assessment skills completely change and they totally widen. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I recommend it to anybody who's looking at, that's truly thinking outside the box because you don't have the help that you need, but you still need to be able to provide the best care that you can. Um, there is a doctor, a telephone call away. If you really need a physician, you can call a physician and they will help you troubleshoot over the phone, but they're not physically there if you really need one. And they're great for calling over the phone and they are truly relying on your assessment skills. So your assessment skills have to be really good and they get better the more that you do it and the more that you're there, they really do get better. But I would do it again in a heartbeat. I absolutely loved it. And hopefully one day you'll find yourself out there as well too. Or maybe you'll be here working with me in the ICU. We're always looking for staff. <laughs> Anybody welcome you to join. Anyways, enjoy yourselves as you go through this process of becoming a nurse and, and feeling your way through and figuring out where it is that you want to work or end up and you never know where the future may lead you. Bye. Thanks so much, Karen.